Welcome back to Weird Stuff in a Can. Today's Weird Stuff in a Can is Fishcock. So yeah, today we've got something called Fishcock. This is from Finland. It's a traditional dish. I bought it from Varusteleka.fi, which is a camping and outdoors and kind of survival camping type of online store. So Fishcock, how about that for a name, eh? This is a very traditional sort of finno scandian dish and it comprises, as I understand it, a fish or pieces of fish cooked inside a loaf of rye bread. The cock here, interestingly, is referring to a rooster and it's called fish rooster traditionally, but the, it seems like the Finns have actually kind of embraced the double entendre of this name and, uh, and, and run with it. And so when we look here closely, it says, does not contain cock. <laughs> We've also got a can of something else called ham cock, which I think is probably similar, but with ham in there. So really this is a toucan special. So what better than a toucan opener? So yeah, we got ourselves a brand new can opener today, toucan shaped for toucan special. We'll keep it for that purpose. Now, of course, these are pull tab cans, but we're gonna open one with the with the can opener and we'll open one with the pull tab and we'll see what difference it makes. Let's just have a look at what we're dealing with here. So, ingredients are not in English. Okay, well, this is the ingredients for the ham cock, which I will translate and put on screen for you right now. And this is the ingredients for the fish cock, which I will also translate and put on screen. Right, so I think probably we ought to open fish cock first and we'll open it with a pull tab just to make a change. And well, there we go. It's not quite what I expected to see in there. So it's actually just a solid kind of chunk of bread is all I can see at the moment. Now, apparently, if you're careful, you can get the whole thing out in one piece. But I think, yeah, maybe maybe it will even with the pull tab. We'll, we'll see what we can do. Right, I'm gonna open the other one with my two can opener. Let's see. So on this one, again, similar looking sort of thing inside, just a loaf of something. Let's have a sniff of these two. So that one smells very deeply savoury. I can smell salmon in there. Same sort of thing there. Obviously I can just, yeah, they just smell really nice of tinned pork and salmon really. Um, no surprises there. Now here's the thing, right? Here's one of the minor things that I, that I dislike about pull tab cans. You see that rim there? When you open it with a can opener, you don't get that. And so the ham cock, I think we're gonna find, comes out of the tin with great ease. Whereas the fish cock is not gonna come out of the tin with such ease. In fact, I think I'll probably destroy it getting it out. So what I may try to do here, let's see how well this goes. I might just try to cut that rim off. There we go. So we can cut that rim off with a can opener and then we will find, yeah, that was never gonna come out of there in one piece like that because it's baked in there in the can quite tight. It's quite a lot more moist than I expected. So there we go. So on the left hand side, we've got fish cock. On the right hand side, we've got ham cock. Now I understand with the larger versions of this, which is traditionally how it's served. I think it's normally like a big loaf that you put on the table. You cut the top off and eat that with butter. And then you cut the, the rest of it into pieces and, and just eat it as is. This is not gonna be quite the same anyway because this is baked inside of a can, but let's have a look. So yeah, it's like a sandwich essentially. Rye bread and salmon sandwich baked inside a can. I don't know if you can hear my stomach rumbling, but this is actually smells really appetizing. And so I'm gonna leave it go anyway. Here we go, fish cock. So it's quite moist and oily, 
with the oil from the salmon there, but it's really, really delicious. Really, really tastes like good quality fish in there. Smoked salmon, nice little chunks of fish. It's not just a smooth, homogenous paste of fish in there. There's actual chunks of salmon in the mix there. That's good. Okay, so let's try ham carp now. This one's harder to cut. Okay, and we've got what looks like a kind of patty of, of ham or almost like luncheon meat in there, actually. I wonder if this is more like a spam cock. Anyway, let's give it a try. Hmm. So it's like a pork luncheon meat, but with a more smoky flavour and a slightly denser texture. I think with the ham cock, something that will go really well is this mustard that Nalem27 sent me from the Czech Republic. Actually, it's a Slovak mustard, I believe. So we're kind of going pan-European here, but that's not a bad thing. So let's just try this. And I apologise to any Finnish viewers if this is not how you would enjoy this, but I always think ham and mustard is a good match. Mm -hmm. And it seems to me like one of the things that would go very nicely with this fish cock is just some chopped dill pickles. So let's give that a try like that. Mm, yeah, really good. So yeah, what an interesting thing. So the bread itself for these is actually, it is a rye bread but it's just got a, a, a nice nutty wholemeal texture to it. It's not too dense or dry like some rye breads can be. It's a firm rye bread, but it is moistened and enriched by the juices that have come out the meat during canning and cooking. I think these things are designed to be taken out camping or hiking. And what a fine idea that is to have something as nice as this while you're out and about. It's a really, really nice fish sandwich and it tastes ever so luxurious. The Hamcock, I think, is a bit of an also-ran, really. Probably not my favourite of the two, but if you don't like fish, obviously that's a great alternative. What a nice thing to have in your backpack if you are walking and wanted something really satisfying for lunch. So there we go. Weird stuff in a can on Atomic Shrimp. Calacoco and Kinkukoko. Fishcock and Hamcock. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.